Alright guys, now we're going to learn how to download objects using Boto3. Um, so I'm going to get rid of this marker and I'm going to change it back to prefix. And I just want to download everything in the Lambda GDAL folder. So I just want to get everything from there. So let's just print this to make sure we're seeing all the MRFs that are in this Lambda GDAL folder. So that looks good. So now let's just Google how to Photo 3, how to download objects. All right, so let's try this one. Now remember, I'm looking for the resource. So some people, you're going to see things that are um, referencing this client. That's kind of the older way of doing things. So always look for like a resource way of doing it. Um, so right here, this is what we need. So it's really simple. It looks like it's just dot download file and we give it the key and then local file name. So let's copy this little bit here. And we're going to want to download this actual file, right? So this is where we're going to need to put this um, piece of code. So my bucket and it actually our bucket happens to be called my bucket um, dot download file and then key that's going to be um, file dot key file dot key and local file name. So this is just going to be somewhere on our computer. So where is this folder? YouTube videos, Boto3 project. So I'm just gonna grab this address as text and print it here. And let's just say, call it the working directory and put it in quotes. And I'm gonna put an R in front of it to um, make it a raw string and we need to import OS right now. So import OS. So we're going to have to join os.path.join the working directory. And now we're, ha we're going to have to construct a file name. Um, so we, we would like to call it, um, this, like whatever the last thing is like, we don't want to call the file name that whole thing. We just want the last part of it. So what I'm going to do is let's comment out the download. We're not ready for that yet. We have to construct, um, the local file name first. So let's try this. Let's print file dot key, um, dot split. Is that how you do it? Dot split. Let me see. Dot split. Let's split by slash. Okay. So let me comment all this out. It's just clutter right now. We're just looking at this. Okay. So you see what I did? I split the file dot key, which is the object in S3. I split it by forward slash. So now it's a list of these things and you can see the last index of this list is just the file name. So that is what we want. Like that's what we want to name our file. So let's, let's actually call this local file name and set it equal to this. Okay. And let's put it above here. Let's put it right there. All right. So now we are ready. Oh, that, let me see here. Local file name. So actually local file name should be, um, oh, we should join it here. So let's get rid of this and say this working directory. And then we want to join this and I'll explain this in a second. So local file. All right. So let's break this whole thing down. And if you guys, you probably understand what I'm doing, but I'm just going to explain it a little more. So we made this variable called local file name 
And what we're doing is os.path.join. So os.path.join is a way you can join two things together. So this is the first thing we're joining. And then the second thing we're joining is this. So let me just copy this. So just imagine this is what we're joining. And when we say os.path.join, it takes whatever two things you put in it, in this case, these two things, and it just adds a slash in between. So it's going to join those two. And like some people do os.sep instead, which that literally just adds a slash like that. Um, but os.path.join, I think, is a little better. Um, I think it works with different operating systems and stuff like that. So let's get rid of this sample here. We don't need that. Um, so let's just print the local file name just to make sure it looks right. No, it doesn't like that. What doesn't it like? Local file name. Oh, I stop at that join. Join argument must be straight, not list. Oh, so we need to say we want to give it a particular index because right now we're just giving it the whole list, like um, everything, but we want index two. Remember zero, one, two. So two is the last one in there. Okay, cool. So this looks correct. That looks like a legit file name. Um, it looks right. So this is good to, we're, we're ready to feed this to Boto3's download. So let me uncomment this stuff. And I'm just going to say print downloading. And let's just do our F strings here. Oops downloading and what are we downloading we're downloading let me just say uh, file dot key and I'm gonna say downloading that too and let's just give it the local file name and we don't need this anymore and after this finishes let's just say print finished downloading and let's just give it the local file name. That's cool. It automatically put the F there. All right. Uh, yeah, with any luck, this will work. So let me run this. And that was fast. Jeez, it's going pretty quick. Are these really that small? MRF. Let me look. That was really fast how quickly it downloaded it. Oh uh, yeah, they are small. It looks like the MRF files are small. It's these LRC files that are bigger. That was incredibly fast. Let me just download these LRCs instead. And let's get rid of all of these. Try that again. And I'm actually going to add, see how it's all jumbled up like this. I want to add basically just a new line at the end of it. So slash n. So that should break it up. So every time it downloads an item, it'll just put a space after it. So that's, this is more easy to see what's going on. So you can see it's downloading one object. Now it's downloading the next object. And you can see it makes this like temporary file here while it's down. Okay. So that finished. So you can see this is incredibly useful if you want to programmatically work with S3 objects using Python. So that this is what I use all the time. Um, so this is pretty cool. And yeah, that is how you download stuff with Boto3. Uh, I'll put this code um, on GitHub. And yeah, in the next video, we're going to talk about how we can upload. So instead of downloading, just how we can upload. And, and that's also useful. Uh, so yeah, stick around and watch that one. Thanks.